Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the HTTP client. HTTP client allowing you to quickly making outgoing HTTP request to communicate with other web applications to make easy to send HTTP request with data, headers and trivial to integrate with web services. Now here, I will show you how to make get, post, put and delete request using the HTTP client. Okay, so let's start. First of all, create a controller. So go to the command prompt and here just type php artisan make controller and controller name. So let's say controller name is client controller. Okay. Now press enter. Alright, controller has been created. Now go to the client controller. So switch to the project and uh, inside the app folder, just click on HTTP, then controllers. You can see here the client controller. So just open it. And uh, here I am going to use a JSON placeholder. Okay, so just go to the JSON placeholder.typecode.com this is the json placeholder is a faker online rest api for testing okay now let's see the get request first so for that just create a function inside the client controller so just here create a function so just type here public function and function name let's say get all post okay curly bracket start and close inside this method just type here response and http colon colon get and uh, uh, get the URL from the JSON placeholder. So just uh, go to the JSON placeholder site and uh, here, uh, from here, just open this link. And uh, these are the post. Okay. So just copy this URL and paste inside the get method. Okay. So just paste here. Terminate with semicolon and just return this return dollar response as a json so just type here arrow json okay now save the file now create a route for this so just go to the routes folder and inside the route just click on web.php and here just type route get and uri is all uh, post ok post and controller name let's say controller name controller name is client controller ok so just type here client controller at the rate method name so just copy this method and paste here all right now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and here just add in the url slash post and press enter you can see here all the post okay now get individual post by their id so for that just switch to the client controller and here create another function public function post uh, get post by id okay and inside that uh, dollar id has a uh, parameter and inside this method just type here response 
is equal to HTTP colon colon get and URL so just copy this URL and paste here and slash ID okay so just mm, concatenation sign which is dot and dollar ID okay and just response uh, return this response so return dollar response okay as a JSN so type here mm, arrow sign JSN okay now save the file and create routes so just type here route get and URI which is post slash ID is the parameter controller name which is client controller okay and method name just copy this method name from here and paste here okay now save the file and let's check so just add here id1 you can see here and if i change the id with 4 and okay you can see here id4 post all right now make post request so just create another method in the client controller so just add here another method public function and let's say function name is a, uh, add post all right and here just type your response http colon colon post inside the post just add here uh, the url so just copy this url and uh, paste here all right and another uh, in the post method pass the another parameter which is filled within the array okay so just pass the array and inside the array just pass the uh, field field names let's say field uh, title uh, arrow sign and let's say uh, title is new post okay and body let's say body is equal to new post description okay and all right also pass here user id so just write here user id and let's say user id is one okay now just return here the response arrow in the json format to so just type your json and terminate with semicolon okay now create a route for this so inside the web.php file just type here route get and here add post okay and here controller name so controller name is client controller okay and add the rate method name method name is add post okay so just copy and paste here now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and just add here the url add post okay now press enter you can see here uh, 101 id which is the post id is now added okay so if i press one time one more time you can see here 
okay another post added all right now make a put request uh, so for that just go to the client controller and uh, create another function for the put request so just type here public function and here just type function name which is let's say update post okay and here just type response okay then http colon colon get inside uh, sorry sorry put inside the put method just pass the uri which is this okay let's say uri and let's say id is one okay and just pass here the array inside the array passed the field so first will title and their value let's say updated post title okay and body updated post description okay all right now just return dollar response JSON okay now create uh, their route so just write here the route get and here update post and then controller name which is client controller at the rate method name just copy this method name and paste here okay all right now save all and uh, let's check so go to the browser and just here add update post press enter all right this is the uh, post id which is the one and updated text okay it means post is successfully updated all right okay now make a delete request so just create another method for the delete request so just type here public function delete post and here just pass the id as a parameter and response http colon colon delete and inside the delete method just pass this url okay all right and just return dollar response arrow gsn all right now add the route for delete post so just here route get uri let's say delete post and uh, controller name which is client controller at the rate method name just copy this method name and paste here one more thing uh, pass here parameter so just 
slash in curly bracket just pass your id ok alright save all now let's check so just go to the browser and here just type delete post ok delete post and their id slash id let's say delete uh, post id 1 ok so just type here 1 and press enter ok post 1 is deleted and you can see here the empty array alright so in this way you can use HTTP client uh, in Laravel 7 so that's all about HTTP client in Laravel 7 so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching